Welcome back to Friday 13th YouTube channel, Metalheads, on this glorious day. So today we're going to be talking about a reissue of Rat's first five albums on Atlantic Years. It's uh, five discs and five CDs, recently just been released on BMG on the 9th of June 2023. So this box set comes with posters, it comes with a laminated pass and, uh, and other great bits, but the first five albums that Rat released, as you may or may not know, were... Out of the Cellar, originally released in 1984. This was followed by Evasion of Your Privacy. This was released in 1995. This was also followed by Dancing on the Cover in 1986 and Reaching for the Sky in 1988, and followed by the last album for Atlantic Records, which was called Determinator in 1990. All brilliant albums. Now, singer Stephen Percy put together Rat. This would also consist of uh, Warren DeMartini on guitar, which is a fantastic guitarist, as we all know. He's been around for many, many years. He's certainly underrated as a guitar player. Now, it's amazing that the band first appeared on one of the early Metal Massacre record compilations that was released on Metal Blade Records. Now, the band would have a lineup change for the first TP. We'd have uh, Bobby Boltzer on drums and Juan Garcia on bass guitar, who was also the original bass player for Dokken, who played on the album Break of the Chains. And also on guitar, Robin Crosby, who sadly passed away. In 1983, the band would release their first EP. This was put out in Europe on Music for Nations. In 1984, the band would release their first album for Atlantic Records, Out of the Cellar. Now, folks, I'm not sure what you guys think of this album. Me, personally, I think it's the best album they've done. It was a real strong debut album, some fantastic songs, great vocals, fantastic guitar harmonies. I also thought the second album, Invasion of Your Privacy, was a pretty good album, but it didn't quite have the edge what the Out of the Cellar album had. Although the band did come from L.A., they had a sort of like an L.A. glam sleaze sort of vibe about them. The image, obviously. But the music wasn't really glam. It was more like Doc and Judas Priest, Scorpions, a really, really good on combination of like classic metal bands. But like I said, the image did give them an LA glam vibe. But great band as they were, they did some fantastic albums back in the early days. And this is just five albums, remastered, reissued. So if you haven't got these albums, this box that you really need to check out, released on CD and vinyl with extra goodies. Now, Out of the Cell had some brilliant songs, a real lot of success. I mean, the opening song, Wanted Man, brilliant opening track, really good vibe, fantastic melodic, melodic hooks, some great vocals there. And this was followed by You Are In Trouble, another classic song. The album also had Round and Round, another perfect song, In Your Direction. She Wants Money, and we also have Lack of Communication, another fine song that got a lot of airplay back in the day. But I'm back for more, Morning After, The Insane, and Scenes of the Crime. That was the first album out of the cellar. Great, strong album, like I said, my personal favourite album by rap. Now, the second album, Invasion Your Privacy, this was a really good album, but like I said, it didn't really have the touch on the out of the cellar album. I think they were trying to copy that album a little bit. I tried to go in a slightly different direction, which didn't quite work for me, personally. Now, this album would feature 10 songs. We'd have You're In Love, which was an MTV classic video. We'd also have Use The Love, Lay It Down, another classic song which was played on MTV. But I'd give it all, Close To My Heart, Between The Eyes, What You Give Is What You Get. We'd also have You Got Me In The Line, You Should Know Me By Now. Dangerous but worth the risk. Now, that was a really good album. I'm going to give the first album five out of five. This album, I'm going to give four out of five. Now, the third album, Dancing Undercover, this is where the band started to lose the strength of the material. I thought they started to deteriorate a little bit. And there were some okay songs on this album. I mean, the first song, Dance, wasn't exactly the most uplifting song to start the album. But the second song, One Good Lover, that is a really good song. That should have been the first song on the album. The rest of the album would follow by Drive Me Crazy, Slip of the Lip, Body Talk, which is a, a fantastic song from this album, also an MTV classic. We'd have Looking for Love, Seventh Half, It Doesn't Matter, Take a Chance, Enough is Enough. This, like I said, is a pretty good album, but the material started to suffer a little bit. For this album, I'm going to give it three and a half. I thought it was pretty good, but it wasn't the fan most fantastic album the band had released. Now, the, slip, the song Slip of the Lip is a pretty good song of this album. It's one of the strongest songs. Now, the next song, Body Talk, is a really good song. This is probably one of the strongest songs on this album. It kind of reminds me of Dokken. Kind of reminds me of the song Two for Nail. Now, the act's next album is called Reach for the Sky. This is a little bit more better than the last album, Dancing Undercover. 
And the opening track, City to City, is a really good opening song. A lot better than the last album, like I said. It packs a bit more of a punch, a bit more melodic, a little bit more on your face, a little bit more to old school rat. Now, this album would also consist of 10 songs. We'd have City to City, I Want a Woman, We're Cool Junior, Don't Bite the Hand That Feeds, I Want to Love You Tonight. We'd also have Chain Reaction, No Surprise, Bottom Line, It's Gonna Be What I'm After. Now, the song We're Cool Junior, this is a, a must for fans of Van Halen. Some fantastic guitar playing here by Warren Demartini and also Robin Crosby. Both guitarists are very much sound similar to where George Lynch. Maybe they rehearsed at the same studio as Dokken, but they're very similar in style, both bands. I just thought Dokken had a little bit more of an edge than these guys did, sadly. Now, there's a semi-ballad on this album, which is pretty cool. It's called I Want to Love You Tonight. This is a typical rap ballad, even Percy, and some fantastic guitar playing by Robin and Warren. Train Reaction is probably one of the most up-tempo songs in this album. Takes me back to the first album, Out of the Cellar. Catchy riffs, fantastic vocals, some great guitar melodies here, and a fantastic rhythm section. Now, I also particularly like the next song. It's called No Surprise. This is kind of reminds me of a driving song, Windows Down, Blasting Out. The sort of thing you listen to, like Judas Priest riding on the wind. And the last album in the box set is Detonator. Now, this album consists of 11 songs without the intro to Shame and the song Shame, Shame, Shame. This would be followed by Loving You's A Dirty Job, Scratch That Itch, One Step Away, High Time, Heads I Win, Tails You Lose, All or Nothing, Can't Wait on Love, Giving Yourself Away, and the last song would be called Top Secret. Now, the song Loving You's A Dirty Job, it's a pretty cool song. It has that docking vibe. It also has a little hint of Def Leppard, just the harmony vocals, a little bit of commerciality, but it's still a good song. Another interesting song in this album that I really like is called Hard Time. This, like I said, has that docking vibe, but it also has a vibe of the band White Lion. So if you like White Lion in a traction album, then you're really going to like this song. It's called Hard Time. This is a pretty good box set. So like I said, if you haven't heard rap before, it's a fantastic opening introduction for you. If you have got some of the early albums, but you need to hear them remastered, these are really good. They sound nice and crisp and higher in volume. And on this box set, you get five albums in black vinyl you also get a laminated pass you get a rap plectrum you also get a poster and i think you get a seven inch single now this is also released as a cd box set so either way vinyl lovers cd lovers you're going to like this i'm going to give this box set in general four out of five but for me personally the first two albums are the best the other albums are pretty good but i just wish that rat would do something more like out the cellar or invasion of your privacy albums they're still going so if you haven't seen them live please check them out so, Matt Leds, thanks for watching. I hope you like this review. 